Hi everyone, I'm Mrs. Zaboyski or Ms. Z for short. I'll be servicing the kindergarten through third grade learning support students this year. Hi there, I am Mrs. Wilcox. I am going to be servicing fourth and fifth grade learning support. What will schedules look like this year for learning support students? Mrs. Zaboyski and I both are going to be following an alternating A-B schedule to service all of our students. This will look like pushing in to the regular ed teachers live learning Zooms, acting as um, co-teacher to the teachers and working with our students in the whole group. Also during their live learning Zooms, we are going to be assigned to breakout small groups that will include ourselves as a special ed teacher along with a small group of our special ed students into the breakout rooms where we will focus on certain skills that, that are being taught in the regular room. Um, also with um, any sort of reinforcement or during any quizzes. What will specially designed instruction look like? On grade level courses, there are modified and accommodated folders. Uh, within those folders, there's modified assignments, quizzes to provide differentiated instruction. Also, Mrs. Zaboyski and I have our own learning support course on the student's dashboard. Within the learning support course, there are separate live learning links for connection to us, along with supplemental links for intervention. This is an example then of what our courses look like. Mrs. Zaboyski kindergarten learning support, first grade learning support, etc., up to the fifth grade learning support. So along with your student having their regular ed courses, homeroom, reading, math, science, social studies, they also will have learning support course. Let's talk about our annual IEPs. The annual IEP dates will still hold true to what they originally were. If your student's IEP falls in the summer, June, July, August, we will most likely hold those meetings before the end of the school year with you and make any changes as needed. Prior to your child's IEP being written, Ms. Wilcox and myself will reach out to you for any parent input ahead of time. Obviously, right now you're home with your child, seeing their behaviors, seeing um, issues that they may be having with their learning. So your input will obviously hold valuable when we are writing their um, updated IEP. We will be progress monitoring virtually for your child's current IEP to the best of our ability. Obviously, writing uh, goals for the child's IEP using conventions is a little tricky as we cannot really get an actual accurate writing sample behavior, you are the ones that are home with them, modifying um, any kind of adaptations that they may need, sitting at the kitchen table with them, giving them breaks. So we'll be monitoring that usually via you. And we're doing the best of our ability, progress monitoring math goals, whether we do a breakout room, small group, as well as doing like dolch words or oral reading fluency with them via Zoom. Obviously internet connections sometimes make that a challenge. But then when we write progress reports, we will still be holding, uh, sending those home quarterly, either by via email or US mail. If you have an email that you would just rather prefer us to email it to you, just drop it in our email. Hey, this is so-and-so's mom, here's my email. I'd rather just get it via email. And we will continue to hold those annual IEP meetings then as well via Zoom with you, over the phone or over email just to get your approval, make any changes that way. Uh, if you need to get a hold of Ms. Wilcox or I on the student's learning support link that she just showed you, their courses with our name, you click right on contact information. This is all right there. Our email, our phone number, our live learning link if you ever just want to have a face to face with us. But also on Schoology, in the top right corner, you're going to see your child's name. There's a little envelope. If you click on that envelope, you can type in our name and send us directly an email right from their Schoology page. And then we can respond that way as well without having to send a separate email somewhere else. Thank you. And we look forward to spending uh, the year with your students the best that we can. Thank you.
Thank you. Please be patient during this time though, parents, as we are all learning this unique way of education at this time. And there's gonna be hiccups and there's gonna be things that work and things that don't work. But we look forward to also learning with your students. So let's make 2021 a great school year.